Hey everyone, it's Brian from Jazz Is. I'm here checking into the Montreal Jazz Fest. This is my first night at the fest. I just got in after a very long flight with a lot of delays. I was supposed to see Bebel Gilberto and uh, Kiana Linnell tonight, but uh, unfortunately I arrived too late and as a matter of fact, their shows were canceled. Uh, but I'm here at the Hotel Farburg on uh, St. Lawrence Street. and I'm about to go see Donnie McCaslin at an awesome club called Jesus, um, which is actually housed in an old church. So follow along with me there, and uh, I won't be able to show you the actual show itself, but we, could act, we can uh, get as close as we can and take in some of the sights as we do so. Thanks for following along with me, guys. See you later. Bye. Here we are at Jesus, Montreal Jazz Fest 2019. As I mentioned, it's housed in an old church, so you can see some of the architecture here. All lit up with the blue lights. Here to see Donnie McCaslin and his ensemble. Donnie, of course, was uh, part of the backing band on David Bowie's final album, Black Star, and has gone on to continue uh, Bowie's legacy, kind of fusing that style of rock with jazz. He'll be performing some of that tonight, and I'll check in with review afterwards. But anyway, here is Jesus about to step in. See you later, everyone. Okay, well, promised a live review after the show. Yeah, that was that was a high-energy performance. Uh, my ears are going to be ringing tonight. Um, you know, it was very loose, very raw. It's a lot of the materials from uh, Donnie McCaslin's new album, Blow, and the direction is totally different. It's very, very rock-oriented. Um, a lot of indie rock, a lot of grunge. I mean, they even had a front man, um, a guitarist, lead singer, uh, Brian Dahl, I believe was his last name. Um, and yeah, they, they brought it hard. Um, playing some new songs, but mostly material from Blow. And um, a highlight for me, at least, was, was Jason Linder, uh, the keyboardist, who was, I mean, just doing some old school synthesizing, you know, twisting knobs, programming beats. He had a nice little duo with the drummer, Zach, and I didn't catch his last name, um, that had people like on their feet, standing ovation in the middle of the set. They closed with uh, a tune by David Bowie, which I thought was really nice because uh, the majority of the people in that ensemble, namely um, you know, Donnie McCaslin, Tim Lefebvre, and Jason Linder, appeared on David Bowie's final album, uh, Black Star. I don't know what that black stuff, that, that white light on my face is, but hopefully we can get rid of it. Um, yeah, it was a great show. It was, uh, they had, uh, as I mentioned, an encore, and that was a tune by David Bowie. Um, waited so long, so it's clear that Bowie is definitely still an influence in, uh, in Donnie McCaslin's life, and the music he's making as a result of that um, is awesome. It's a phenomenal set. Anyway, I'm off to get some grub from one of the few Chinese restaurants. And my hotel is right near Chinatown. Um, that's open this time of night. It's called VIP House, and it's a, kind of a spot where all the journalists meet up. So I am headed there, and I will check back in tomorrow. So long, everyone. Bye. Well, it's late, so you can't see so much. But this is where everything takes place. This is the main event here. Um, Here's the press hall above La Stral. That's a club, and above it is where all the press... There's a press room where journalists can come in and do interviews. This is kind of the main drag where all the food and the vendors are down a ways a little. Um, these restaurants are usually open, again, during the day. And now uh, we'll take a left around the corner here and I can show you the main stage no one's playing on it now it's very very late but here's where the magic takes place main stage down there and uh, yeah this is kind of where things happen in Montreal uh, we'll have lots more tomorrow for what is my day two, June 30th of 2019, Montreal Jazz Fest. But there's musical stuff happening all over the city, all times of night. Um, so yeah, lots more in store. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye.
Real quick before I check out for the night, here's an example of something you just stumble onto. Got some good hot jazz. This is at a uh, kind of an outdoor bar on the outskirts of the main downtown. And this is some happening uh, gypsy jazz here. Closing number as they wrap up for the night. This is the Heineken stage here. And that's going to be a good time. 